What's up guys? I'm here in my snake room. I'm going to try this YouTube thing out because everybody's doing it. But today I got to clean some snakes. I'm going to show you guys firsthand what I do with my snakes in order to clean them. I also have to set up a cage or two because I got some new cages. I got to install lights in. It's going to be really fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. installed I started running the wire I had to cut the end of it off to fit it through a small hole in the back which I will actually put together later on I will show you guys the whole process like I said but I actually started siliconing the wire to the top of the cage now the reason why I do this is so that the snake cannot pull the wire down because that would be very bad and ruin the lights so I actually use aquarium safe silicone to silicone the wire all the way across the top and out the back of the cage which, again, very long process, not going to show you guys the whole thing, but I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so we're back. It's day two. I let the silicone dry overnight. Now that it's dry, I'm going to set the cage up. I told you guys I would show you what it looked like when I was done, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. You cannot even see the silicone, which is awesome. Yes, there is a white wire, but when the cage is set upright, you will not see that wire there. So I'm going to go ahead and move the cage where I want it and get it set up so you guys can see that now. There you go. Nice new cage, ready for a snake. Now I am going to be moving my Western Diamondback Rattlesnake in here because the cage he is in now, well, it just doesn't match. So I'm going to be taking him out of here, putting him in here. Again, there's the wire. You can't even see it's up there normally. So I'm going to go ahead and move him, get him all set up, and show you guys that process. here is the final now it is still wet it'll look a lot different once it is dry it'll look a lot better um, the color of the bedding itself which is eco earth actually is this color when it's nice and dry okay which again it will dry out he is a desert snake so I do not want it too wet in there but he'll be fine in there for a couple days so now the fun part putting the glass in putting the lock on the cage and uh, yeah giving the water bowl and putting them in Okay, now the fun part, I get to take him out of his enclosure now and put him in the new enclosure. Um, I'm getting rid of that cage. That cage I have is an extra just in case I don't have enough cages, but I just happened to come across a bunch of really good vision cages. So I'm going to move him over now. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Now this snake is very, very friendly. Um, most Western Diamondbacks are, but this dude particularly I've had for about three years now. He actually came from a very good friend of mine out in Homestead. Um, he's a big, beautiful male. Say hi to the camera.
Welcome to your new home, buddy. All right, now that he's in, let's get to cleaning some stuff. Now I gotta clean some cobra cages. It is breeding season for cobras right now, uh, particularly monocle cobras. They do have a breeding pair. Uh, they are albinos. They literally are above each other. So there's one here. This is the male, this is the female. Um, but I do have to clean both their cages. So I'm gonna take them both out, put them in this trash can, and then put them back in the same cage together. So I'm gonna take the male out first, clean his cage, and then I can put him back in it and then put the female in with her or with him, excuse me, as I clean her cage. So, let's do that. a bit messy, likes to push against the glass, pushes all the bedding back, all that fun stuff. So, get to cleaning that, then we'll put her back. Right, cage is all clean, bedding's redone, glass is nice and clean now too. I actually gave them a bigger hide so they can both fit in there comfortably and added about a gallon of water to the bedding. Now the reason why I did this is because what stimulates mating for male monocle cobras is very simply humidity. So I added humidity to the cage so he wants to breed a little easier. Now for females, that girl right there is actually chilling them down for a little bit. And that's what stimulates her. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the male back in his enclosure and then take her out and put her in there as well. Now right now they don't really care too much for each other, but they will tonight, hopefully. And hopefully I get some pretty babies out of this. Okay, so that's it for my episode today. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, hit subscribe. I will be trying to post videos at least once a week so you guys can see what it's like having all these animals and also working with some of the animals I do. If you guys do love Chandler's Wildlife, I definitely suggest you watch my show because there's gonna be a lot of behind the scenes stuff in here that he probably won't post, but I will and I don't care, so it'll be great. So hopefully you guys like it. Again, subscribe, like, share, tell everybody that I started a YouTube channel. And again, have a great day, but be safe out there, guys. Don't do the stuff you see us doing because we are trained. We are professionals. We've been doing it a very, very long time. So see you guys next time.